Jay Bills from Media Spotlight UK, and I'm here with the one and only Most Wanted, the only Most Wanted in the building. Um, the last time I saw you, I think it was Misfit 7, like, yeah. it was like last year. Cool, yeah. yeah, were you wearing like a grey suit that time? Yeah, it's same grey suit, everyone knows my profile picture. That's the same grey suit I was wearing, yeah. Yeah, what, what, what inspired you to wear that grey suit? Because it, it seems like you're making a statement. I mean, look, look, when you come to boxing shows, I'm trying to be a fighter, I'm trying to separate myself from people just something that stands out. I mean, some people want to wear glitter on their glasses, you know, some people want to be the loudest guy in the room and some people just want to wear a suit. Maybe they stick themselves out like that, I don't know. So, I mean, like, obviously, take me back to, you know, your intrigue within the Misfit scene, that influencer boxing scene, um, because you've been putting out content for a while um, and you've invested yourself in the scene, like, we see you at a lot of events. Um, what got you intrigued in the first place? Well, I was always, like, a fan of, like, KSI, Sidemen, like, UK YouTube and even American YouTube since I was young and also at the same time I was a fan of like MMA and boxing I was watching it so I was a fan of both so when obviously KSI Joe Weller kicked it off it kind of combined my two interests into one and ever since then the influence of boxing has been like that would be really cool I always wanted to be a YouTuber yeah. I always think about fighting because I like to watch it and it's just sort of like a match made in heaven for me because uh, I mean you're not you're no stranger to causing beef in the scene yeah. um, you know setting up your spaces and uh, yeah making your opinions known um, you know I, you seem to be a very outspoken person like do you do you feel like you have no filter like you'll say things as you see them yeah pretty much like I think I think what separates me from a lot of other people in this space is that they their opinion they'll keep their opinions but they'll they'll melt mold their opinions around not wanting to offend people not wanting to burn bridges not wanting to ruin connections and opportunities in the future I never really worried about that I knew in my head as long as I'm always saying what I genuinely feel inside then eventually all will align because people will recognize real because at the end of the day, the truth always prosper. Everyone knows that. And I was speaking my truth, my true opinions. Everyone else sort of twists it and, and changes it depending on this, that and the third. And we, we all know who I'm talking about. There's a million examples out there. So, so yeah. Well, there, I mean, a few people you've not been shy in speaking about. I mean, firstly, Keemstar. Um, you know, he resigned from uh, Happy Punch. Uh, but now he's part of the small council. Um, you know, you, you, you basically have not like shied away from speaking about what's going on with Keepstar, like, you know, what, what's going on there? Um, he's just a clown, I don't like him. He's a bitch. Straight. Straight like that. I mean, I don't know, what, what, what part of it do you want me to expand on? Because like, there's a million and one reasons he's a bitch. Like, which, which road do you want me to go down? There's like 10. We're like a, we're like a roundabout with like 10 exits. Well, what comes up, your top, what, what, what comes top, uh, top of your head in terms of like, why you don't like him? Um, I mean... What's the main thing? He's biased and never admits he's biased. I'm biased because I'm friends with people. If someone asks me an opinion on you, on a situation, I'll be like, well, I'm biased because I'm his friend. And I'll give my opinion, my biased opinion. Do you know what I'm saying? But, but he, he will give his opinion and say, no, but it's not biased. Like, shut the fuck up. And then furthermore, he was trying to cancel me. He tried to cancel Dean the Great. He tried to cancel many other people. He tried to ruin people's careers over friendships and stupid petty shit. He's like a little girl. That's why his name is Dramala. He's a 43-year-old man who does drama on the internet, which is fine, you can report on it, but the fact that he's having such strong opinions and yelling and saying, oh my gosh, guys, like, you're a bitch, bro, it's corny. It's corn bullshit, like, I don't like, like come on, man, what 43-year-old man does that shit and goes to bed thinking, yes, I'm content with my life at night? It's not true. So what do you think in terms, obviously now that he's part of the small council for Misfits, um, how do you think he's gonna put, like, his influence in terms of, you know how future fights will be in the future like how things will be set up because obviously you know he's he's a he's a huge figure in the scene uh controversial like in a lot of ways but like whether you like him or not i want to be fair look the small council is always a good thing because at the end of the day like if if keem starts on there and he has an opinion i disagree with there's there's other people there to vote and like have that conversation have that debate so it all gets sort of seen in the end yeah. whereas um whereas with with keem Star, He's going to have his dumb opinions and everyone's going to, like I said, like pattern him up, basically tell him why that's wrong, basically give their opinions and it's all going to balance out and one. But at the same time, in the, in the spirit of me speaking my truth, there's some things that Keemstar says that I agree with. A lot of the people in the scene, they're not driving promotion, they're not driving storylines, and I think there should be a bit more fun to it and less of the seriousness. But he try, he wants to go all the way down that road, which I don't disagree, which I don't agree with. But like I said, there's, there's, there's all elements to it. But as far as him being in the small council, I'm glad my brother, my guy, my best friend, Leon Wills, is going to be there to, to, to keep us all safe. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens when, you know, things develop at the small council. And then another person you uh, spoke on recently was Wade. Um, I mean, personally, I, I've had no problems with Wade on my end. Like, I'm cool with him personally. But, 
it seems like there's there's some tension with you and Wade as well. Like, what's going on there? Um, well, basically, he he someone told him that I spread a rumor about him, which I didn't, and I had proof of me not spreading a rumor about him. And he and he ran off and went on his own tension without just asking me, even though we were cool and like on very much on speaking terms at the time. So I didn't like that. Then he made like a public statement, basically making a, a, the accusation on that rumor, spreading rumors thing again. That's when I was like, well, suck him up. And then I started cussing him out. Pardon me. And then he blocked me. So I was like, cool, whatever. You don't want to talk to me. You don't have to. So it's your Twitter account. You block whoever the fuck you want. But then he unblocked me to ask me more opinions about him, to ask me about his opinion, my opinion on him more. So then I was like, okay, you want my opinion? Cool. You're going to get a six minute YouTube video. Boom. I made the video. I sent it to him. Here's your response, mate. And then he sent like 10 paragraphs. Like, I'm never going to leak them. I'm not a leaking DMs kind of guy, like properly anyway. And it's just like 10 paragraphs. Again, with the Keemstar, like you're, you're a grown man. You're 30 plus. Like you don't have like a wife and kids to be tending to. Like what the fuck fam? Like, like real talk. <laughs> Why are you sending a 20 year old little autistic kid from London 10 paragraphs crying? Just shut the fuck up. It, it, you know, like I said, you're not... Quick, sorry, sorry yeah. to cut you off, man. But his name's Wade, stands for we are all, we are debate everything. We always debate everything, something like that. I don't agree. He's called we always debate everything. Where in reality, on Twitter, he blocks people that he do, that don't, don't agree with his opinions. And furthermore, when people disagree with him in a mass, which is what debating is, by the way, when people disagree with each other, we, when people disagree with a mass, he then goes on Instagram lives late at night and says he wants to delete Twitter and it's too toxic for him. He's a bitch. Well, I mean, that, 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 that's a lot that's going on on your part. Like I said, like you're not shy of expressing your opinion, like especially with people that seems like you're not on good terms with at the moment. I mean, maybe in the future it might change, but it looks like it's not going there at the moment. But let's talk about your fight with uh, Joey Knight. Um, you've seen his uh, open workout. Like, uh, what did you make of it? And, you know, how did this uh, matchup come, come together in the end? Um, well, three people that's on Misfits right now on the 135 pound lightweight division turned down the fight against him. I'm, I guess Mams thought, you know what, I need the guy, the guy, and everyone knows, what's the guy's name? Most Wanted, that's the guy. The guy will take any fight, because I'm that desperate, okay? Beggars can't be choosers, and I am a beggar, understand that, okay? But at the end of the day, that's how it came out about, it was like four weeks notice-ish, and I was just like, yes sir, yes sir, three bags more. <laughs> and I said, yes, I'm in Leeds, this date, January 20th, live on the zone, and I'm there. Yeah. So that's how this came about, but as far as um, what I thought of his open workout, it went as, well, as what I thought. He looks like a clean, polished, experienced boxer that knows what he's doing in the ring. But I don't think he's be able to take the power and speed and the young athleticism that I'm bringing. Because I know, obviously, he's had like a background in boxing before. He's taken eight and He's taken a break away from it. But obviously, now he's come back into into the into the zone, uh, on the zone. Um, so, um, how do you feel that like coming back into the scene will uh, you know? affect his performance against you because obviously this is your debut as well as his but you're you're less experienced than he is so this, he's, he's fought before it's my fighting debut you know what I mean but at the end of the day I'm not really concerned about what he's doing I'm just concerned about how I when I go in the ring what I'm doing how I'm reacting to what he's coming with coming at with to me uh, coming at me with and all of that like I'm not really concerned about all of the this that and the third you know what I mean yeah. Literally. and I'm hearing um, that you did some sparring with uh, AJ Bunker yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, how did how did that go for you it was good, you know, it was good. I mean, look, she's in camp, I'm in camp, you know, we got working. It was, it was, um, you know, hopefully it was helpful to her, her camp and helped her towards her fight. And um, it was the same for me, so. How do, you, how do you think the fight will go down between Ella and AJ? Based on like your experience working with AJ, how do you think that fight's gonna go down? Especially when it's their second fight. Oh man, I'm not sure, man. The fight, the fans will win. I mean, okay, I mean not looking past, um, not looking past Joey, but, is there anyone like within the lightweight division that you have your eye on that you'd want to face in the future? Because I mean, there's people like Wally, there's Dean, there's Yadi Gangs, um, you know, there's Adam Salah. Like, is there any of those names that appeal to you? Um, no, not really. I'm not. I'm not supposed to be at this weight. I'm a bit bigger. I'm a bit big for this weight, okay. even though I'm not tall. <laughs> but, um, so would it would it be welterweight that you'd be more comfortable with, or what? Yeah, what's 55 probably. So you you'd be looking at like people like Jarvis, who's the current um, champion at the moment. Yeah, around, people in that weight class. Yeah. But I mean, if they want to offer me like a hey, pap in this weight class, then I'll take it because that's like you know that's like a free win, obviously. But it's like a pad stat pad, isn't it? But but nah, I, I don't want to do too much of that. I want to I want to take fights that storyline involved. I want to take fights where there's, I can promote really well. I want to take fights that's exciting for people to watch. I don't want to take this too seriously like everyone else on Misfits does. I want to have fun while I'm here and make sure that the people have fun watching me. I don't want to come here and go to the press conference to say I want to let my hands do the talking like other man. I, I, I want to do more than that. I want to actually make the scene what it's supposed to be. Fun promotion and then a fun fight.
I was going to ask you, like, as a final thing, like, you know, what you want to accomplish in within Misfits, because I, I don't see it as a one and done, I guess, for you. So, you know, what what, what would be your ultimate goals? Like, what do you want to achieve being in, in this space? Just take storyline fights, fights that I, I genuinely like. Like, I don't, like, you lot know, if you're following the storyline of my fight, I don't fake beef. My opponent's just a nice guy. I'm telling everybody, he's a fucking nice guy. He's a great guy. I spent, like, a good amount of time talking to him last night. He's a nice guy, um, and he hasn't got anything bad to say about me. I haven't got anything bad to say about him. I just disagree that he's gonna win the fight. You know what I mean? I don't fake beef. I want to fight people I have real beef with. You know, there's certain people in the space. I will make the weight work, even if you're 20 pounds heavier than me. I'll, I'll make it work. I want to fight these people I have storylines with, so I can entertain the people with it. That's well, the end goal. Just storyline fights. Well, I wish you all the best in your debut fight. It looks like it's going, it's going down. It's gonna go off. Like you two are cool with each other, but it looks like there's gonna be, there's gonna be electric fireworks in there. Yeah, for sure, for sure. We both know how to switch on in the fight, for sure. All right, well, most wanted. I wish you all the best, man. And uh, keep doing what you're doing and, and, you know, hope you climb up the ranks, bro.